Hello everyone, it's Ava Cowan. This is my seventh blog for Fitness Rx for Women. This is actually my, my first video blog, so I just want to verbally say thank you for following my progress, my road back to strength, and um, I appreciate you taking part in my journey. Um, the comments and questions and discussions I've had have been really really meaningful to me and um, it succeeded my expectations tenfold actually I, I didn't have any expectations because I was really just focused on trying to just get up and do the next right thing uh, in my recovery but at week six I started to have a turning point and I just I started to get a little bit of momentum and I felt good in the gym and I started cruising in there by myself and kind of doing things the way that I used to do them, you know, just alone. And I could focus and it, it just felt good. I, I uh, reconnected with that part of me that loves to work out and lift weights. And um, consequently, my weight is dropping. And so I find that the more joy that I'm finding in it, the easier it's becoming and actually my appetite's decreasing too so you know you're kind of locked in when you're not as hungry it's sort of a mental thing that's what happens for me anyway uh, this week I am going to go into the gym and um, have a very good friend of mine she's going to film my hit session and I thought it was important to film this because it's only my second time doing it and it's actually on a spinning bike and I've been scared to death to do HIT on a spinning bike. I never spin, I've, I've never been interested in it. I've never wanted to look like anyone that does spinning class, just real talk. And um, so I've kind of avoided it, you know, with the pedals and the straps and the seat adjustment and the going forward and the whole thing. So yeah, it's, it's just been a little different. So I know that in one of my previous blogs, I talked about doing something that's different, challenge yourself, get uncomfortable. Well. I did that and I got a timer and I can even listen to my music and, I, and it beeps and it vibrates so I know when to start my high end of my interval and so it's kind of cool so I thought I'd show you how I'm doing it like it's my second time so I'm no pro I'm not like rolling in there and you know just it being perfect so and I'm good with that so I was just excited that I took a risk and it actually worked and my legs were burning and and you know what else can you ask for really um, I also like to discuss how often I do this I do it twice a week and I only do it about three times a week getting ready for a show I don't do five six days a week of cardio I don't spend over an hour doing cardio low moderate low or moderate intensity nothing like that I've done it in the past but I like the feeling of doing something more athletically and my legs really they look good you know like a sprinter's legs so when I'm doing cardio I don't want to just like you know be like a hamster in a wheel I want to do something that even though it hurts I know it's gonna look really good and get that fat off um, so my friends on the way over and we're gonna demonstrate it I don't know how the lights gonna be I don't know who's gonna be talking in the background I don't know how many people are gonna be walking back and forth <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen at that gym tonight but um, I'm gonna be there and I'm showing up and so I'd like to take you through a hit workout well I'll just show you a little bit of it this is how I start I do a five minute warm-up if you're just starting maybe go five to ten minutes um, and then I start counting. I either do like a 15 second all out 100% sprint or I do a 20 second all out 100% sprint. Now the difference would be if I'm in really good shape I'd probably go 45 seconds at about half of my maximum capacity and then at 45 seconds in I'd go all out 100% kill yourself, die, whatever um, for 15 seconds and if you're doing it right you should be real tired at 15 seconds um, right now I'm not really there uh, so I'm doing a minute and 40 seconds at about half and then I'm gonna go all out at 20 seconds at a hundred percent and it hurts but I have more time to recover so I'm doing um, I go back and forth between six and eight um, intervals but you know I'm getting the results without going so much longer so 
when it stops working or when I don't feel like I'm dying, then I'm going to add an interval or two. So that's how I know how to increase because after about two or three weeks, I'm adapted to that amount of intervals, so I have to increase something, um, whether it's the intensity, the duration, or the frequency. And I'm not willing to do the frequency. <laughs> so that's kind of some insight into my cardio. Uh, last blog, I gave you some insight into the kinds of foods I eat, just some variations. Those were not, that was not a full meal plan. I eat vegetables, I do a lot of different things, but we all know about eating um, chicken and, and fish and vegetables. We all got that. So I wanted to show just, hey, you know what, I'm dying for a little bit of pita, and those pitas I showed you are Joseph's flax uh, seed uh, uh, pitas. They only have eight grams of carbs. It's like, ah, a dream. So that's what I'm doing today um, and uh, the blog before that was a workout so this is kind of just like I'm figuring it out as I go what to share with you so this blog number seven is about high intensity interval training if you'd like to learn more about it Google is a wonderful resource and you can go ahead and do all the research in the world you'd like um, and hey do both do low intensity and do hit I don't know try it out so that's what I'm doing, and I will see you at the gym.